The goal of an RPAP Let School Rural High School event is to introduce students to career opportunities in rural health care that they aren't aware of. Interest in attending this event in Brooks was overwhelming. 47 spots were available for students from six area high schools and they filled up immediately. Brooks has held skills events like this in the past. Organizers know these events play a big part in helping to grow your own rural health professionals. The more we can encourage the students to get involved, the more we can funnel them into the post-secondary school and then hopefully they'll come back to practice in our community. We know that when we've got you know, 40 to 50 students that participate in this, that there is a good chunk of them are going to go into a career in healthcare later on down the road. Thank you. Hey guys! The grade 10 to 12 students rotated through six different skill stations. Grab a spot with a piece of meat. You heard that correct. Grab a spot with a piece of meat. Scott Bell, a third year med student from the University of Calgary, is hosting the popular suturing skill station. I think they're doing great. If I was properly anesthetized, I'd let them go and close up some wounds on me. It was pretty eye opening, and it's like really nice because you get like a hands on experience. Number one and two strategies in the research for managing anxiety would be breathing activities and relaxation activities. In a session called Supportive Mental Health Conversations, a psychologist shared ways to control anxiety. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. My favorite part of it definitely was um, psychology. It really resonates with me and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was engaging and interesting and I got to ask a lot of questions. The Let's Go Rural event was held at Medicine Hat College Brooks campus. Here, students were shown a high-fidelity simulation doll that is used to train nursing students at the Brooks campus. You put it up against our collarbone right here, where it kind of meets in the middle. A paramedic shared stories about how various pieces of equipment in an ambulance play a part when responding to emergencies. These have saved my career at some point. From a kid that is just having an absolute breakdown for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. So if you go above it, you're going to find it's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Hands-on skill stations like this one, featuring IV starts and immunizations, are always popular with the students. Make sure you take your, take your tourniquet oh, yeah. off. Um, so tourniquet off. So without touching it with your fingers. Okay. That took me years to figure out in nursing school. <laughs> it's not easy. Wound management is another task the rural nurses must be prepared to perform. At lunch, Brooks family physician Dr. Mary Lynn Thompson shares why she thinks being a rural physician is an amazing career and how the variety keeps it exciting. Any given day, we would manage a heart attack, we would manage a stroke, we manage broken bones, we deliver babies. People are limited by the extent of the dreams that they see before them. And so if there's not exposure to healthcare, I don't think most people would ever consider it. How can you consider something that's outside their experience? So I think it makes a big difference. I wish I had this experience when I was younger. There are so many healthcare professions that I didn't know about, and I could do like, maybe, you know, this one suits me more than the one that I previously wanted to do. Like my interest in healthcare has gotten like way stronger when one day. I think it's just solidified more the fact that I do want to go into healthcare. Better than what I could have expected. I've always been interested in like healthcare, and this has just solidified my belief in becoming a healthcare professional. For more information on RPAP Let's Go Rural High School events, please go to rpap.ca slash let's go rural.